welcome back to my youtube channel i'm your girl ij and here is ij designs in today's tutorial i'm going to share with you guys how i made this lovely tuban cap it is a diy tuban cap i'm sure you will love it so i'm going to share to you guys how i made it and what do you need to make it you need your tape as usual your scissors also if you have the zigzag scissors it's also needed for some areas and also my brooch i have two brush here i will choose the one that will fit the turban after we have finished making it so without wasting much of your time let's get on drafting the fabric i'm using a sokuba material material that is always drawing can you see how elastic it is so that is a, a light circular material that is what i'm using to do today's diy turban cap what are the measurements that we need for the base i need 15 inches for the base let us make it because most of human hair circumference is 22 of 23 but today I'm going to use 12. It's a, I fold it into two, fold it into two, then I will measure out 12 inches. I will measure out 12 by 12. I'll measure out 12. This is 12 inches. The length is 12 and the width is also 12. I will measure 12 by 12. And here also I will come down by 12. So I'll connect the two lines. Let's cut. This is 12 by 12 inches. So we need our base, which I've already cut out. This is the base I cut to. Let us measure what I have here. I have 15, 15 inches in two places. The width is 15 inches and the length is 4.5. I have it in two places. That is this. I cut out two places of 15 by width and four and a half by length. I have it two. And I have two long strips. That will be used to make the rows. I have 32. 32 into 2 will give you 64. So it's going to be enough for us. So let's get started. I will start sewing. I would like to trim the two 15 inches. Just get it, fold it in two. I'll fold it in two. And from this edge, I'll go in by two inches. From this edge, I'll go in by two inches. This is two inches. Then I'll mark at it and I'll slant it like this. I'll slant it to the edge. Slant it to the edge. Just use it and place to the second one. Just place it at the second one and also slant. The two has been slanted. Then take it so like this. We want to make the we want to make the face to be a little bit of V. Put it in this form. Do you see how I put it? You see how I put it in this form. It will look. Then take your pin. Take your pins and hold it down.
Take your pins and hold it down. Now we have fixed the band. The band of our toe band is fixed. The band of our toe band is fixed. Can you see it? The band is fixed. Then now get the 15, the 12 by 12 inches that we have already cut out take it check the make the center fold it in two and notch the center of it notch the center then pick this check the middle of it and also notch so that it can fit now here is the middle here is the middle now use it to put to the base now put it together and you can also pin it down. Put it together and pin it down. Then you can start sewing. Then sew it till the end on one side and you turn the other side. The right side, the top, the, ba the base will face the right side of the material. Any side of the base is okay because you turn it into two. Okay, so now we have sewn it, try to cut off the threads. Now look what you are going to get in the front of it. Do you see how it is? Do you see how it looks like? Now do, fold it in two and measure. Now fold it in two. Then I'll take my tape to measure 22 inches because it's a stretchy fabric. So I would like to measure 22. I will stop at 11. 11 is 22. 11 is 22. Here is 11. Here is 11. That's my 11. Then take it back to the machine. Now, while sewing, you will be pleating it a little. While sewing, first of stitching, then while sewing, you will be pleating it. You'll be pleating it until you get to the back. Now, can you see what I mean by pleating it? So that it doesn't look bulky at the back. Cut off the threads. See, our cap, our base is formed. Do you see it? Do you see how lovely it is? You see it? Now, I'm going to make the rows. When you make the rows, then you will place it on one side of your cap. Base. It's time to make the rose. Remember the, the material for the rose was cut into two. I've joined it together to make it one strip line. And at the edge of the two, I slanted it and I closed it up so that I can turn it because the rose has to be done on the 
good side of the fabric so i'll start from this side of the fabric what am i going to use my needle and thread then i'll start so just in this form I'll do it till I get to the end of the other side, then I'll show it to you. Now I've come to the end of the other side. I'll draw it. You see how it looks like? Look how it looks like. Now I'll give it a little bit of tighten here so that it doesn't lose because I'll use it to form the rules. Look how it looks now. To form the rose, you can form it in any form that you want. You start form the rose. You start forming the rose. You see the rose have been formed. Do you see it? You have formed the rose. Now you have to secure it with the same thread you was using. You have to use it to secure it. Otherwise, it's going. To, I'm going to fix it like this to the base. I'm going to bring it out fix it to the base in order to hide all this i'm going to use this brooch i'm going to use this brooch to hide all this here just take your brooch See, the brooch have hide all the sewing and everything. Do you see how it looks? You can also beautify it with some bead to make it look more kinky. Guys, I finished embellishing it with beads now let me put it to the pop for us to see how it looks like can you see guys this is the turban cap that we have just diy now how do you see it does it look beautiful Oh yes, this is IJ Designs. This is me for you. Try to make yours. Try to make one for yourself and tag me on my Facebook at IJ Ijoma Ozoma. That's my Facebook name. Or on Instagram, you can also tag me there as IJ Designs. I'm also on Instagram. Just do yours and let us see how it looks like. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share my videos. Love you guys. Love you, love you, love you, love you. IJ designs for you. Bye. Mm -hmm.